This toy horse has been on my porch collecting dust and dirt for at least four years. My wife has asked me to get rid of it. But you see, I have it to make a video. I've been meaning to make a video about it for four or five years now. Today is that day. If you were to ask me what electronical components are the best bang for your buck, I would have to say one of them is the Wii controller or even the third party Wii controllers. You can get them for probably 10 to 20 bucks and these things are just amazing. They're packed full of things. They have microphones, they have speakers, obviously they have buttons, they have uh, accelerometers, uh, they are Bluetooth connected and then one of the coolest things is the front here which is an infrared camera. So it can not only detect infrared light but it can track points of it and you can use that for many things. These things can be hooked if you go back 10 years to some of the first videos I did on Linux uh, on, the YouTube, on my YouTube channel. I was talking about hooking Wii controllers to your computer and I still think they are amazing. You can use them as hid devices so they can be recognized as keyboards so the buttons can be keyboard presses but you can also use the motion to control your mouse or you can use the infrared camera to track infrared light to create uh, electronic digital whiteboards where you have a pen or just to track movement of infrared light. Now let me tell you what's not a good bang for your buck. This horse here, this horse here made by Fisher Price, brand new, uh, I believe was 125 to 150 bucks. It bounces up and down, it's got the little spin thing here and it's got two buttons right here. But what's up here is some infrared LEDs. And what happens is this comes with a base unit that hooks to your TV. And you can set this to just right the horse and he makes noise, or set it all the way down up to the TV setting. And then you can play games on the TV, obviously, for kids. Now, I would never spend over $100 on a little plastic horse like this. But when my daughter was very young, uh, you know, four or five years ago, she's six now, I was at a secondhand store. And this was sitting there on sale for six or seven dollars. I quickly looked it up on Amazon and saw that it was over a hundred dollars new. I did not know if it worked at the time. And I said, you know what, if it doesn't work, it's still something my daughter can ride and I bet I can program do something. Well, it turns out it did work. And the games, uh, it actually had more games than I thought, but they were all very simple, you know, educational games, you know, making the horse run on the screen. But I thought, can I make a game myself? that can, can be controlled by this. Now as I mentioned, the front of this has a row of infrared LEDs that when you turn on start flashing like crazy. Obviously you can't see them with your own eyes, but they are sending out a signal. And many years ago, I did hook up an infrared receiver to an Arduino to receive the signals from that. And it's just sending out a barrage of signals just constantly. Um, and I could go through that and try to figure out which button does what and whatnot, but I wanted to go very, very simple. And that is where the Wii controller came in. So what I ended up doing to make things very simple, I just wanted to make a quick game for my daughter, very, very simple, that a one-year-old could play by riding her horse with this. So what did I do? What I ended up doing was making this game. A very, very basic game, as you can see. And in fact, I should mute that so I don't get uh, copyright problems on the video here. But all it is is a little character that runs and collects stars. Well, how do you make the character run and collect stars? You wiggle the mouse. That's all you do. You move the mouse, and the more you move it, the faster he goes. And when he gets to a certain number of points, I forget what it is, more stars fall from the sky. So, all I had to do now was set up the Wii controller to see the infrared LEDs on the horse. And al although the infrared LEDs are sending out digital signals, I didn't really care about that. The Wii controller would just see the movement as my daughter bounced on the horse and it would make this character run across the screen and collect stars. And when she gets her point, it goes, -da -da! more stars fall from the sky. It was good for about five minutes and she got bored with it. But she also did with the games that the horse came with. Very, very simple and very little to no technical aspect of it other than the fact that I wrote the game which was fairly simple with phaser uh, I.O. So again, I would just turn on the horse, set the Wii controller to look for infrared LEDs, infrared light, and their movement would move the mouse. 
I put this under the TV. She would move the horse. And the character would run across the screen and collect stars. Very, very simple. Now, let's say I did buy this and it wasn't working and the LEDs weren't working. Well, again, this has accelerometers in it to track your motion that can also be used to control the mouse. So, theoretically, I could have taped this <laughs> right there and as she moved, it could have controlled the character. Then again, let's say I didn't have a Wii controller. I guess, theoretically, I could have got a wireless mouse and taped it on here in a way that it would detect the movement by, that'd be a little weird and not as cool but it could be, could happen. The point of this video is, is that I could have gone real complicated with this. Again, decoding with an Arduino, the signals being sent from the IR, which would have been cool. And I could actually, it would have been cool if I, if I, if I uh, set it up so that I could play Doom with this horse. That would, that I might actually do that. But the point of this video is, if you're getting started in projects, you can keep the projects very simple. You don't have to start off very, very hard. Again, it's very, very simple. You install a couple of packages. If you have a computer that has Bluetooth, you can connect to a Wii controller, tell it to, to look for infrared light as a mouse controller, and then and you're moving your mouse, and in that case, it moves the character in the game. That, that game is up online. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description of this video. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. It wasn't, you know, very technical, but I hope it was inspirational, keeping things simple for you. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.